Okay, beautiful forest. Heatland open 2021. Back nine of round number one. With me in the booth, Philo Brathway. And believe it or not, he is on the, um, how we call it, the feature card. Well, yep. Pelle is in round front one. with minus uh, five. Elias minus four as well. And some other people on minus four. More disc golf, hole number 10. What's this hole about, Philo? This is a fun hole, but it's also very tricky. Uh, the tee shot's not so hard. Uh, you just got to make the turn, get up the hill, hopefully land somewhere right center of the fairway. Up to these trees on the right would be a really nice place. And then you kind of have some options. There's a sidearm alley to the left over here. Very, very tight, tricky, flexing, hyzer shot down the middle or right side. So it's kind of a poke and hope to get onto the green. The tee shot's not so challenging or demanding. It's pretty fair. It's really about getting lucky or fortunate on the green. And different baskets, I, I noticed. I think they're the same baskets. This might be an end of a basket. This might be a, yeah, or even a disc mania. Okay, clapping from the audience. You got past the catch cam. Good sign. Yep. Anywhere over the crest of that hill is usually in pretty decent position. Obviously, the closer you get, bigger the gaps get. So try to be a little aggressive on the tee here. Linus, the Swedish champion. He got sort of a little to the left, I suppose. Yeah, caught a tree at the base, didn't get much of a skip. Not the best angle to throw from, but he's a creative player. I'm sure he'll figure something out. Okay, the forehands, the flex is coming. You got it. I actually really like this play. It helps you make the, the finishing turn up the fairway and getting on the right side. So close. A little low. A couple more meters of air under that disc and he's going to be in a brilliant spot. Okay, Stanislaus, he has some work to do. Let's see how the back nine is starting. More trees. Yeah, hit the tree again. Yeah, he tugged that one off to the right, right out the gate. And there is some OB up there to the right. There's some white stakes over there and kind of happy that he caught the trees and came back and bounced. Looks like he's still got a fast disc in his hand. Yeah, he's still got a long ways to the basket. It's probably over 350 feet still to the basket, and that's not helping any. No, split the first couple, but hit the third. That looks beautiful. Yeah, he did a really nice job of keeping that low and tight, well inside circle one. From back there, that's a really good shot. And it's also oh, finding yeah. a line in circle one. I told you would figure something out. Beautiful. Very difficult from where he was actually to get onto the green. I mean, that's a little bit of fortune and some skill put together, you know? And you have sidearm number four or five lining up for you in this round already. Yeah, that's the best line into the basket. Unfortunately, I tugged it a little bit wide out the gate and caught some trees.
from that position where I was, you really want to make birdie on this hole. It's really no excuses to not get up and down. Yeah, but still it's a par four, so no harm and foul. Well, you want to keep up, right? Don't want to miss opportunities, but you're, you're right. Pars are better than bogey. And Stani had to get crafty here with the over overhead with Tomahawk. There he goes. Finds his way onto the green with that one. Stop the bleeding, please. Yeah, it's a tough hole for Stani. And you're a little bit in the shoals as well. Yeah, I'm actually on top of a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> kind of see me there. I'm trying to Come on. catch my balance. Ah. Another putt I let slip through my fingers. Yeah, but that was well in circle two as well, right? It was. Nice birdie. From Bona. Linus picking up his birdie. Yeah. It's a good birdie to get. Rough double bogey there for Stunning. Yeah. See if he can bounce back and get some more green on his card. Let's see. I hope so. And you stay at minus four. So you, you're pretty tight. The, the group is well balanced. 11. Par 3, 115 meters, 377. This is a fun hole. There's a couple of ways you can get there. Actually, I'd say there's three ways that you can get there. Um, one of the most common routes is going to be for the righty backhand, uh, a rock turnover or a putter turnover shot. Um, you might see some guys try to throw the sidearm flick on the left side and then this big spike hyzer that Linus is lining up pretty generous with the size of the tee box. So we can throw from the back edge of the corner and really try to cut the tight corner on these trees here. Okay. He just turns it tight to listen and that's inside circle one, safe putt. He's on the beach. Looks like Bona is trying the, the turnover putter shot. There's some OB on the left side that creeps up right at the corner that kind of shapes the hole. Got to be careful not to under throw the disc and unravel too early. If you want to make a mistake, you want the disc to continue turning to the right and have a longer putt up the hill to the basket. Very steep angle. I didn't see it finishing. I think he's off to the left a little bit. Not a bad shot. Or off to the right from the camera would be to the left. But when we walk down there, you'll see he's wide to the right. What disc do you throw? I'm throwing a Millennium Quasar. It's got my Team Philo stamp on it. Nice. It's like a boss, right? Very similar to the boss. Not the worst place to be. Could have been a little bit wider, maybe. But you ended, I think up, I'm still in. You ended up in the circle. I think so. I think maybe circle's edge. I think a little bit off. Into the, into the woods. Stanny's playing the high flexing shot. Okay. 
Just edge. a little bit early, a little bit short. It's kind of a death putt from there, that elevated basket, and it drops off the grade very quickly. I went running looking for my chalk bag because I left it somewhere. Yes. It's looking. He can't lay up. Nice. That's a big putt from Stani right there. That was a dangerous putt. Beautiful as well from Linus. I love it when they just drill the baskets onto rocks in Scandinavia. You see it quite often. Yeah, I like it too. It's a fun aesthetic. Nice. Yes. Birdie number five. Yep. Trying to hang out. Keep things moving. Maxim. More disc golf with hole number 12. Yeah, this is a fun hole as well for the righty backhand player. If you're a lefty, probably not your favorite hole on the course unless you have a very good sidearm. It only measures at 322. We're not playing to this basket. That's much shorter, but we're playing to this, this catcher up here on the left. Okay. Uh, the ideal aiming zone is this telephone pole off to the right there from the tee pad. If you can throw the disc at that very aggressively with some height and a lot of angle, you should work your way to the green nicely. Very important that you keep the disc on in the air on this drive. Um, if you come out too shallow and too low, you won't have enough height to make the finishing turn. And probably a lot of natural OB left and right. Yeah, if you hit and roll backwards, Linus didn't quite penetrate enough. And I think he kind of hit and rolled backwards a little bit. It's very steep and everything's filtering to the right from the camera here from left to right. So. Hitting something early and going to the right's bad news. You're going to be in a world of hurt. I, I love how you focus on the tee pads. Focus. Yeah, you hit the line. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's inside circle one. It's Just, a dangerous tee, uh, tee yeah. shot, man. That tree that makes the turn to the left on the corner there, there's a branch that hangs down kind of in the sweet spot where you want to throw the disc. So you have to really focus on missing that limb and having the appropriate height and speed on the disc. It looks nice. A little short, but putting. Bert, but he'll have a safe putt up the hill. Yeah, his line was a little, a little more to the left than yours. I think that's just a difference in swing speed. I think I throw a little bit harder than Stani, so I can test the wide line a little bit more than he can. Mm -hmm. And Bona, I think he got a little aggressive there and really tried to cut the corner tight, and hit something early. He's going to be a ways back and he's going to have a very awkward angle to get up to the green. Yes, if you're on the left hand on the hill, with a lot of trees and bushes you have to get crafty look at this lie he's got yeah. hardly see the top of the band oh. look at this. <laughs> wow <laughs> can't believe it <laughs> uh, i love it it's great he threw a prayer out there and he made it i mean 
he had a great shape to that right out the gate. We were all watching it come in like, oh, that's definitely hitting some basket. <laughs> what an awesome conversion. Linus, this is oh. such a tough shot. All of his weight wants to pull him down the hill, and he's trying to throw against the grain on his stance. Nice. Almost, almost it in himself. sinks it as well. Unbelievable. That was such a great recovery shot. He knows it. Look at that smile. He's smiling. Stani from around circle one. Come on, Stani, you can do it. Oh, yeah. There he is. Double bounce back. There he is. Yes. Double bounce back. Back to level on the back nine. Nice recovery from the double bogey on hole 10. Mm -hmm. Get some sun in your vision, but <clears throat> connecting. Good connection. Yeah. Six down for the round, two for the back nine. That's Trying good. to catch a little bit of rhythm here. Linus puts it no in. Problem for Linus. Nicely. I mean, it's four or five paces, but still, you got to concentrate. Yes, you do. Hole number thirteen, I believe. Yeah, this is a tricky par five. It's not the longest par five in the world, but there's very small landing zones to give you the right footing and a good angle to get up to the green at the end. So this first drive, you really just want to land at the base of this hill. Ah, it's so short. And try to get, it's very short. I mean, it's maybe a hundred, you know, 50 feet off the tee, maybe 200 at the most. And then the next shot's about 150 feet up the hill. And if you can get onto the plateau, onto the flat right here, and yeah. you can throw either a righty backhand putter or a nice little flick and get up to the level of the green and have a birdie putt for four. Very, very difficult to have an eagle look on this hole. The, the shots that are required, like the tee's not going to get you very far. And the second shot's really not. You'd have to throw it in from the fairway to make an eagle. I imagine you you're can, not going to putt. I, I imagine you can go easy to long on the on the drive. And then... Yeah, you, a lot of things could happen on the drive. You could go too long. You could turn it over and go to the right. You could come up short. So it's a very, very touchy drive. You just anywhere right in there is just fine. Yeah. If you throw it a little bit longer, maybe 10 meters longer, then you can get a bit more aggressive on the second shot. Yeah, it looks like an interesting hole. I like it. I like how, how to... Yeah, navigate certain shots. You have to throw three very controlled shots to get a birdie look. Stanny's playing a little bit higher, uh, wider, but good. not too bad. Sits down right there, hopefully. That's good. Flat ground for the up shot. It's very tempting to want to cut the the corner there is a mandatory right at the opening of the gap that defines the left turn so you got to get past that tree but you kind of want to throw it a little more aggressively but it doesn't help you see the mandatory yes. there with the arrows nice little fortunate bounce and roll for bona gets yeah. him back into the fairway yeah bona almost hit the mando tree right yeah he was coming in a little bit short caught one of the stumps on the ground a little bit of reverse roll out so that helped him. And the real bombers, can they go really, really high? No. Nope. No. There's nowhere to go. It's a low ceiling out the tunnel. So you got to throw something low and slow. Just bounced it into the hill. A little bit of an unfortunate roll back oh, yeah. there for Linus, but still okay. He's got plenty of arm speed to make it up to the plateau. Okay, Stani is still concentrating. A little too straight. 
I'm sure he would have liked for that to turn to the left. It's not very far. It's just very steep. So you really want to throw something kind of overstable and make sure that it fades. Like Venus that. plays it about as perfectly as you could do it. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. You want to work? You wanted to bite off a little more distance on, on the approach? I had a better angle and footwork than Linus did. Obviously, he had to straddle out and really steep footing. And I was a little bit more flat. So, and bonus, run up made it easier to, to judge. He used that's it. fine from there. Yeah. He used his He's still in the middle of the fairway. He's going to be a little bit further back than the rest of us, but he'll have an opportunity to throw either sidearm or backhand putter. And looks like a good workout running around that course. It's a good workout. That walk up that hill was, was intense. Oh. Yep, he <clears throat> got it up there, just not enough turnover to stay closer to the basket. A little bit fast. Such a touchy shot to get up there and to make it stop close to the basket. Especially when you're on this angle. Yeah, too tight. Catching some more trees. I think he's on the level of the basket, though, so it should be a relatively stress-free up and down. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Very nice inside circle one. Yeah, and the, he's not uh, sure about it, but he's fine right where he's at. <laughs> yeah, the sidearm just, just sticks, you know. The sidearm just doesn't do anything unless you hit the the uh, the bank. But if you're on the plateau, it should. I'm trying to give this a full send with a light destroyer. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I'm still yeah. inside circle one. It would have been nice if it stayed up top, but that'll do. Yeah, inch higher and you're just there. Now you have to make the putt. Same. No, that's not a putt. Okay, nice. Stani just. Yep, trying to get up and down, save par, does so nicely. Yeah, very, very smart and going back door and don't even think of um, driving to the basket. Bone is on the level of the basket, I think, and he's going to have a circle's edge putt, putting back towards the hill. Come on. Okay. Good effort. And you want that. And you got it. Nice putt. Yeah, no more messing around inside the circle for me, man. I got to make all of those. Lena's nice as well. You two share the lead from the feature card now on minus seven. And Bona plays his part. Is this round score really minus four only? I thought Bona was closer to you, but... On number 14, more disc golf from Sweden. Par 3, 114 meters. Beautiful hole. I really enjoyed throwing this shot. Again, it's downhill. The basket finishes off to the left. It's elevated up on these rocks. It feels like an ace run from the tee, but if you give it ace run speed, you're probably going to go really long and 
have a very awkward uphill, very dangerous putt. So the idea is to kind of come in nice and soft, throw something kind of stable and just hope that it dumps out. There's a little bit of space and there's a lot of OB. Actually, the whole right side of the tree line is all out of bounds. So you're just trying to hug the right side of the fairway, get a nice little fade, try to find yourself inside circle one, hopefully on the low side and have a nice uphill putt. Yes, and you're having your Quasar? Oh. Uh, I think I'm throwing the Wraith here. The Wraith. Your discs are all yellow or orange. It's difficult to... Uh, there's some apart. mixtures in there. I got some reds and yellows, oranges, some blues, some greens. I mix it up. That looks nice. Oh, is it too strong? It's yeah, it was long. coming in hot. Oh, yeah. I like the shape of it, but I was surprised it didn't fade. Just a little too straight out the gate, maybe a little too much speed. It's a touchy shot. I mean, you can get there with a the mid-range, but uh, I think sometimes when you're throwing downhill with a mid-range, it likes to glide a little bit more than you would like. So I went with something a bit more stable, hoping it would turn faster. Yeah. Dinos is getting in here some sort of mid-range. He's really hugging the left side. Yeah, it looks sort of, but it's nice. Huh? No, it's actually pretty good. He's going to be inside circle one. It's a little bit of a death putt, but I'm sure he'll be just comfortable to take that putt. Okay, Stani. He wants the birdie. That looks beautiful. Yeah, I like that little baby flex out the gate. Nice. A little bit unfortunate on the finish there. There's so much stuff that could have grabbed that up. Really nice looking shot. And that looks like a rock as well. I think it's a smart choice for the hole. Some KC. Yeah, something stable. You don't want to go flippy on this hole, especially with OB on the right side. You got to make sure it finishes left. Two left, maybe. No, just a little early. Yeah. He's right around circle one. Kind of a death putt again. And this is all lawn. It's, not, it's really grass in, on the fairways. It's amazing how in, in Sweden there's grass in the forest. It's like uh, unseen in Germany. It looks... It's, yeah, it was a really pretty walk, man. Nice stones everywhere. Beautiful trees. It looks so... so. Oh, what a great bid from Bona. Good try. Circle two. It's a dangerous putt. It takes a lot of courage to take that putt. Linus is the yes. same space, right around 13 meters. Oh, wow. Dead center, right in the heart. Beautiful. And he was probably about two meters above the basket as well, so if he misses that and airmails it, that thing's gone. Yeah, those kids. So I saw what Linus just did, and I'm thinking, man, I got to try to keep up with this guy. He's making big putts. <laughs> nice. Same to you. What was that? Circle's edge? Uh, I'd say about seven paces. It was just an awkward lie. I had to put under two branches and keep the height yeah, to get I, into the chain. I have the feeling sometimes that helps. If you have like only a little window to, to hit the putt, sometimes it will. you can't miss anymore. Sharpens the focus. And nice. Stunning. So, birdie frame, right? Looks like it. I think I actually know Bona missed his putt. He hit the, the ah, top bag. Yes, so I it forgot. Take far it here. was a good try, but not a stick. It was a good try. So close to a star frame. Maybe on 15, which is coming up right now. So, the theme of the whole park is elevation, I think. It looks like up and down and foresty and trees and 
turns. It is. Um, there's there were a lot of ups and downs. Most of the time, you were playing across the bowl, kind of like this hole. It drops down and comes back up. So you're really throwing level. It's not like you're throwing down the hill or up the hill. Okay. I'm just trying to land on this flat plateau here in the middle of the fairway, and then it's a pretty simple upshot. We're not playing to this basket on the right. It's actually this one right around this corner and there's some OB flags so you can't get too aggressive on the upshot and go long. It looked like the OB flags are well in the circle. They are. They're about five paces deep of the basket so it really makes the second shot you know, you have to be under control. Okay, very high and spiky. Nice. Almost made it to the flat part. <clears throat> But you're in play right there, right? Yeah, I'm in the middle of the fairway, just a little bit on the upgrade, so it makes the, the approach into the green a little awkward for the stamps, you know what I mean? Yes. Ideally, you'd like to be on the flattest part of the plateau, and then you can just do a standstill with a putter or a mid-range. Yeah. Venus takes this really, really high and spiky, and that's Same right position, next to me. Yeah. Let's see, Stanislaus. He got in the groove a little bit and yeah, he wants to get on the path for the rounds. High and spiky as well. That's a really good reaction. <laughs> There oh, no, from the hill not... to get it back onto the short grass. Yeah. He missed the line a little bit, but he's in the fairway and he's going to have an opportunity. Let's see if Bona can get to the plateau. Taking some time. What time is it now? Is it like uh, seven o'clock there at night or? Yeah, I think it was getting close to 7.30 or eight o'clock. We yeah. weren't moving at lightning speed, but we weren't moving super slow either. I don't remember many backups or long waits anywhere. Just normal tournament speed play. Yeah. Sun's really creeping in our eyes right there. You can see the crest of the hill. Sun shooting right down, right where we want to throw. Beautiful. Done a beautiful shot. Well done. Oh, nice speed control as well. Absolutely. Well inside circle one, opportunity to make birdie. <clears throat> Linus is putter. A little wide. A little but, bit uh, wide, but there's some space up there. He found, He's still in circle one. Yeah, he found his gaps nicely. Going with an overstable mid range, just in case if I tug it a little bit. Kind of like that. Ah. <laughs> I have a hard time with throwing uphill. It's not my favorite. Yes, but you like long putts, so let's let's see what's happening. Ah, just short. Just short. A little nervous about the OB past the basket, so I didn't want to be too aggressive. Nice from Linus. Yeah, as a. Well played, hole there from Linus. That's my turn to mess up the star frame. Yeah. What's the name of the person who messes up the star frame? I just thought there's a name for everything. What's what's the guy or girl called who's messing up the star frame? <laughs> Oh, man, I haven't come up with a good one yet. I'm going to think on that for a few seconds. Let's see what I can come up with. Yes. Maybe for the next round we have we have a name for that. 
There we go. Disappointing par after a really nice drive. Yeah. Put myself in prime position and finding another leaning basket. Yeah, they're, they're famous. <laughs> the famous leaning baskets. 16, another par three. 282. Yeah, it's, not the, it's not the most difficult hole on the course. Honestly, it's it's not the easiest one. There's a big OB path right in front of you. So you're throwing kind of from a inbounds tee pad and then you're throwing over OB for the majority of the hole and the basket's obviously up on this little mound. Uh, there's a couple of ways to get there. The sidearm play is the most obvious or the righty backhand with a mid-range or a putter. There is a hyzer line out on the wide side that you can take and spike into the receptive side of the hill for the righty backhand throw. Linus hangs this one out there a ways and not exactly what he was looking for. Can you do um, hyzer and, and hyzer or is there only one flight path? Uh, we're all trying to throw Anheuser's with the righty backhand for the most part. There's there's one gap on the right side of that pine tree that you can see, the pine and the birch, yeah. for the righty backhand if you want to go hyzer. But most everybody's playing this this line here. And Stanley just barely gets over the, the OB. It's going to have a long putt for birdie. Point and shoot golf. For the most part, there's a couple of holes with some... Uh, trees in the middle you got to avoid but this one's pretty straightforward that looks nice it does look nice great height great turn oh yeah just a little bit on the long side right on circle's edge so he's putting towards ob now is that like a difficulty for bona uh, well, the OB is probably 15 meters from okay. where the basket is behind the basket, past the basket. So you'd have to bounce off and roll to get back to the out of bounds. But he could have a really bad roll away either direction if he doesn't make the putt. And for some reason, I told myself to throw this line, and I never committed to it and find myself out of bounds and heading to the drop zone. And that's... That was a big, big mistake. Bogey, I guess. Yeah, there's no running that putt with no. all that drop off behind, so take my medicine and move on to hole 17. He's running he's everything. Next, yeah. That would have wow. been a huge putt for Linus if he could have knocked that one in there. Yeah, there would be a two-stroke swing between you and uh, Linus in this, at this point. This is one of those holes you don't want to take a bogey on. It feels really silly to make bogey on this hole. There we go. Stani makes another good birdie putt. Finds himself under par after a long grind. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to to make a turkey in the rounds. Always appreciated. Solid pass for Linus. Par. Yeah, I'm sure he wasn't too thrilled about that par. This is a hole he should be putting for birdie from inside circle one every time. Bona a little bit strong, takes par. Bogey for you, moving back to minus seven now. Yep, not two, too happy about that. No, two more yeah, holes. Think about it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's see. Um, let's see if you make the lead card tomorrow and um, if, if we can wit witness you again uh, on the same hole. We'll see. This is a fun hole, hole 17. 400 feet, slightly uphill. It's 
got a couple of guardian trees off the tee that you want to miss. If you catch one of those early trees out the gate, you're going to have a really, really difficult long upshot. There's OB all up the right side, so you don't want to throw your disc with too much turnover with something too glidey because it's not going to hook up going up the hill. It's just going to continue to drift to the right, and you'll be going out of bounds and adding a stroke to your score. So most of us are going to play the right side gap, try to get a very hard penetrating hyzer that just slowly tapers back to the left. Yeah, compared to the rest of the uh, the course, it looks like no trees. And unfortunately, Stani yeah. hits the one tree in the middle. Oh my God. He's been having some terrible luck with the trees today. Maybe he needs to go hug one and yeah, become friends. A little tree hugging session in the afternoon. It's always good. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Shot from Linus. Stress-free birdie putt. Yeah, up the hill. Couple of paces. Beautiful. Bonus. So you're trying to get the left, the left gap, right? Ideally, yes. You do want to go on the right side, the right, the, side. Mm -hmm. the right side of the tree in the middle, and just let the hill pull the disc back towards the basket. Yeah. Gravity is pulling everything to the left. So if you miss on the left side, you're going to go further away from the target. So you definitely want to start on the right side. And Right up in this space right like there, this. and then just let the disc kind of slowly drag itself back to the left. Nice. So a little bit short of ideal, mean... but it's still a Yeah. Always about the putting. Yeah, it'd be a whole different round if I made all the inside circle one putts. course. Oh, uh, no. Not so low. Yeah, Stani never really got the right shape to that shot. Yeah, I think he had some distraction in the swing or something. He's got a safe bit at this, so he's going to try to throw it in. Comes up a little bit aggressive. Yeah. Bonus drive was a little bit Deeper than mine. That's surprising. Trying to get creative. Almost recreating the magic from hole 12. Yes. Wow, but that was surprising to see a side um, um, try. There you go. Nice putt. There we go. Just outside circle one or so, right on the edge. Yeah, always good. Nice to find the rhythm on, on those putts. And the bounce back statistics. Yeah. Birdie after bogey. Venus with the short tap in for his birdie. Yeah, nice drive. Really nice drive. He put that in the right space the whole time. Gave it a chance for an ace. Hole 18. Conclusion, round number one, the Heartland Open. Yeah, this is actually a really good finishing hole. You got OB on the right, OB on the left, and it kind of wraps around. You can see to the left until mm -hmm. you get to this uh, pathway there. Kind of bubbles out a little bit, and then there's a creek that runs all along the left side, and all of that's out of bounds on the other side of the creek, and then... Up here near the green, there's some OB up on the high right side. Kind of hard to get over there. Pretty pretty much out of play for the most part, unless if you have a really bad tee shot and you're way back in the fairway and try to turn something over into the green. You could find yourself there, but most likely not. Most people make the mistake of sawing off their shot and ending up OB to the left. 
but off the tee, you got to put a move on it. It's about 430 feet down to the, to the landing zone. You're going to see another basket down in the fairway and that's where you want to be. Just left of that gives you a perfect angle into the green. Mm -hmm. I was really, really surprised to see this from Linus. Too stable. Just under committed. He just never really put the move on the disc. Like he was just trying to lay it up because he throws so hard. I'm sure he was thinking, I don't want to overthrow this and go be deep. And he just kind of under undercut his swing a little bit and out of bounds. He's going to have a long upshot to get up and down for par. Yeah, but it must be fun as well to come out of the woods, controlled shooting all day long, and then unleash one on the last. Well, I had been practicing this shot a bunch of times and felt pretty good about it. And gave that a nice hard tug right down the middle, almost safely in the landing zone. Almost aced the, um, the standard hole. <laughs> Yeah, anywhere in that area, is, you're going to be feeling pretty good about it. It's not too stressful to, to see the basket and yeah. get onto the green from there. And it's maybe a good um, aiming spot as well, if there's like a um, the old basket or the normal basket in, in the field. You know, I think that's for a different hole. I'm not sure. There's a It may okay. be a, a different tee pad. I don't think this tee pad we're throwing from is, is normally part of the course. Right. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's even the basket for that fairway. <laughs> I'm not very familiar, but yeah, it is a nice little aiming spot when you're up there on the tee pad to give you a visual aim for that spot. That looks nice. It does. He's testing that tree in the middle. Gets by it cleanly. Green flag. Beautiful. How far north north is uh, this town? One more time. Uh, how far north is is it north north of Stockholm or is it south of Stockholm? It's west, like pretty much straight west from Stockholm. Okay. Maybe a little Turned. bit northwest, but not by, by much. Yeah. Turned over by Bona. Is it OB? Yeah. After the OB stroke, a little loss of focus there and didn't really challenge the space that he needed to to get towards the green. It's important to save par now. A little bit early, yeah, he's going to have around 50-foot putt, 16, 15 meters. Mm-hmm. Tournament director Mika Bui did a great job. There he is. <laughs> He's looking walking along happy and calm. Yeah, he's a good dude. I had a lot of fun hanging out with him for the week. Ah, great. That looks nice. Oh no, a little bit unfortunate. One more meter of height and he's under the basket, no problem. Instead, he catches the rocks and now he's just outside circle one. That big stone is the edge of the circle. Yeah, and he bounced back from the stone. Uh, unfortunate reaction there. Put some move on the side arm and sticks it. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Thank you, sir. Felt nice to birdie hole 18. Yeah. I was having some problems with this uh, approach shot in the practice. I was trying to work my rocks in there, and it's such a weird angle to throw into that green with the backhand that I just forced myself to throw the sidearm and figure it out. Well, I I recall all your sidearm shots were good in this round. So, um, yeah, well done. Bona did a really nice job there from yes. underneath the sign. Get himself inside circle one. Try to salvage bogey. This is a big putt here for Linus. 
Off the mark to the left. So he bogeys out. We'll flip flop strokes once again. Ah, so Stani yeah. stays at even par, which is actually not bad uh, considering all the trees he hit um, during this round. It's probably very respectable score. Nice. Nice solid putt from Bona to finish the round with the unfortunate bogey stroke off the tee. Yes. Not the sharpest of second shots. But um, only because of the brilliant scramble, he were able to finish out with the bogey. Birdie for you. So sometimes all the others are missing out on the star frame. Well, you know, when you play in the woods, a lot of weird things can happen, right? Yeah. Get the trees, get the rolls. There's lots of rocks. Lots of things can happen on the ground. So, so let's see the Gotta table. Gotta be a little fortunate. That's a big part of it, right? Yeah. But the course looks fun. It looks good. I want to see more. Nice drone action from more disc golf. In this card, yeah, we also seen the, the scores. Linus, A, Dew, 9 under, Sunny, even, and Bona, minus 4. And overall results. Elias, Melka, Philo, minus 9. And Linus made the lead cut for tomorrow's round as well with minus 8. So more action with you and Linus. And the other two, I don't know. I'm looking forward to see them. So was I. I think there are a couple of young guns. Should be a fun watch. Come back. Join us for round two. Exactly. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for round two. Thanks, Philo, for joining us in the booth. More Disc Golf is very thankful that you take part of this. No problem, man. Stoked to be a part of it. Thanks for having me on and look forward to doing some more Disc Golf coverage with you shortly.